Hey guys, DMV Solo Rider here. We're in Alexandria, Virginia on Duke Street, making our way over to the Beltway. I got a special video for you today. It's my favorite local ride in the DMV. We're gonna cut across the Anacostia, head down Indian Head Highway towards La Plata. And when we hit La Plata, we're gonna double back west we're gonna go for a ride in a, a little part of Maryland called Nanjamoy. Uh, I'll show you on the map that I'm gonna try and overlay it onto my audio here. I'm still working on that sort of stuff. And basically this big fat peninsula is where we're gonna be doing a big figure eight. And I discovered this last summer and absolutely fell in love with it for a variety of reasons. One, it just looks great two it's got some nice twisties and while it doesn't always make for exciting video it has this huge straightaway like I would say the whole middle third of the ride is a big straightaway through some really pretty woods along the Potomac you can't see the river from the road but that's okay I know it's there <laughs> good enough uh, and it's just a lot of fun. That part of the road has this huge like hilly up and down area I'm actually hoping that with our new second camera. I can get a clip of me going downhill Where the yellow line is just kind of going up behind me and Use that for the badge for my channel uh, But we're gonna go down there. I'll film what I think are the, the coolest parts of the ride and share them with you as always I will put a link to maps down below so that you can uh, check it out, download the GPS coordinates and pop it into whatever device you're using and go try the ride out for yourself. One other note, uh, if you want to subscribe, that would be fantastic too. I'm trying to put up a video every week between work and editing and just trying to get out and ride. I can't promise that's always gonna be the case. So if you subscribe, if you like my videos and you subscribe, and hit that notification bell then you'll know when I upload new stuff personally if people don't subscribe it doesn't matter to me I'm just very curious to know if the stuff I'm putting up there that people are watching is of interest or what else they want to see and if people don't subscribe and hit the like button YouTube won't feed my videos into people searching for motorcycle related content and I won't get that feedback I'm in all my full gear and I keep passing all these guys in short sleeves and I'm really feeling quite jealous. And they're looking at me like I'm insane and I'm starting to think they might be right. So like I said, this first third of the ride, it's got some twisties, more sweeping curves, some straightaways. Kind of towards the, the tail end of this segment, there's a little stretch through some woods that I absolutely love. The first time I did this ride, it was in the winter, and so all the leaves were gone off the trees, and the trees had this kind of eerie, like, faded out ashy color to them. And I felt like I was riding through Chernobyl, so it was pretty cool. It'll probably be much more colorful today, but I'll at least point out where on the ride it is. And then the, the middle third is a huge straightaway. Uh, it's like, I want to say seven miles long, very lightly trafficked. Hopefully we won't get stuck behind a car today. Uh, and you can fly down there. Like if you want to see what your bike's got zero to 60, that's the place to do it. Just don't hit a tree or a deer or a hiker. <laughs> straightaway action there are some cops out here I see them occasionally I've never actually come across any sort of speed trap but there's so many motorcycles out here there's got to be some some at some point speed limits are pretty good like 45 plus 45 to 50 usually I'm in standard mode I'm going to get into my little Chernobyl area, I'll pop it into sport mode. Which basically means I'll probably go 5 miles an hour faster than I would otherwise. 
The engine just sounds louder. <laughs> That's okay. I love the sound of my engine. areas hopefully soon I'll be able to get around this here truck right now. Can't beat it. This is a steep right. I didn't do that very well. Got a sharp left into my favorite little area. This is it. In the winter, all these woods are leafless and gray. It's so cool. I will say that there are plenty of driveways on this road. And a lot of them are gravel, which means you can't overlook gravel in the middle of the road. Or grass clipping. It's a good 10 degrees cooler in here. The road is 40. I'm doing 55 to 60 to 80 depending on if I remember the road. <laughs> I always think it's this right here, but it's the next one. I will actually give it some break. This next stretch, that was it. That was my favorite little part of the ride for the winter. This next stretch is kind of boring. Well, I'll probably cut it out in editing <laughs> and then we'll get our, ourselves to the huge straightaway. We got another rider up ahead. This road is heading down towards our wooded straightaway. Hopefully he's not slow or slower than me. Look at that, look at that. That, my friends, is a straightaway.
Potomac. Go on the wrong side of the road. It's really cool riding through here. Well, this is pretty much the end of that big straightaway that I told you about. Now we're just heading over to the river a few miles away from here. Potomac, Port Tobacco Road. Really pretty out here. shady spot. Let's go take a look. Hey, bunny rabbit. That's the Potomac River. Hopefully you can see. Let's see if we can see a lake down this way. People motorboating out there. I don't know how much to see over this way. Yeah, this is my little stretch area. You know, it's funny when pulling down here 
got to make a U-turn to get out. And the other day I was uh, watching MC Ryder and he was, I think it was a video about the braking practice in a parking lot. And he was making the point that if you're on your bike and you're moving, do everything the right way. Don't cheat. Don't, you know, duck walk your bike. Stuff like that. When I got my chieftain a few months ago, first weekend that I had, I rode it down here in March. And of course, I came for my little stop. And when it was time to go, I said to myself, well, I haven't really done a whole lot of practice on my huge bagger. And while I may be able to pull off a clean U-turn, it's possible that I'm not ready yet. <laughs> so I decided to be lazy. And instead of just doing a U-turn, I figured I'll do a three-point turn. I'll come, pull over here, back up, and go. So I did it, pulled in, facing that way. And I don't know if you can tell, but the road pitches downward, but it also pitches downward that way. So I pulled all the way up here, came to a stop, went to back up my bike, and I couldn't budge it. It was just enough downhill that it was too heavy for me to move. A little DMB solar rider couldn't move his 830 pound bike. So I said to myself, well, I'm an idiot, but I can get out of this. I'll just go on the dirt and head out. Now, it had just rained maybe that earlier that week, so everything you see here was just mud. But I still told myself, no problem. I won't be on it for but a second, and I'll be off and on my way. So I pulled out into the dirt and proceeded to get stuck. Not only did I get stuck, my bike was so stuck, it was beached. The kickstand wasn't down. It was just perfectly upright in the mud. And yours truly had to call a tow truck to tow my motorcycle out of the mud. So that's what you get for taking the easy way out and not doing everything right when you ride. We won't be doing that when we leave today. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. We are stretched and ready to ride. The only problem is I forgot to bring some of my spare batteries, so... Only got about 30% on that one and 40% on my chin. So we'll get going and I'll show you a little bit about the, uh, the last third of the ride. And then I will probably get cut off. I'm so sweaty I can barely get my gloves on. Oof. There we go. All right, let's make that clean U-turn. I prefer low speed maneuvers in touring mode, just more gentle. Let's go. So you might be wondering, well, where's DMV Solo Riders clean U-turn? Trust me, it'd be on the video if I had one to share with you. <laughs> we'll get it next time. <laughs> hey, I'm still a rookie. I'm still learning. It's a big, heavy bike. And I can't actually turn my head all the way around like you're supposed to. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to shortchange the last third of the ride. It's a nice ride. It's just not as scenic or different as the first two thirds.
<laughs> I've never gone 100 on my bike. I've come really close, like really, really close. Well, guys, my battery is just about done. As you can see here, this is the rest of the ride. We kind of came down, crossed over that road, went all the way around, and now we're coming back up and heading back pretty much the direction we came. Hopefully you can see that. But once these batteries are dead, I don't have any way to show you any more of the ride. But I've definitely shown you the best part so far. So I'm going to say so long here. I'll just let the batteries run out. Maybe we'll get something interesting at the tail end. And I'll edit away, get this video posted. Please give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe. Hit the notification button. That's all the stuff you gotta do so YouTube knows people are interested in what I'm sharing and they'll feed it to other people searching for similar content. Thumbs up, I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.